Nothing screams spring more than a butter lettuce made with fresh peas and asparagus. If you've never tried your hand in using butter lettuce in any of your salads, put this recipe in the rotation because it is a great one. And here's how we make it. Start by rinsing the lettuce leaves in a colander under cold water. Compared to other salad greens, the leaves of butter lettuce are more delicate, so be as gentle as you can. Here, I find that a salad spinner works perfectly for drying them, but you can also let them drain in the sink while you're working on the rest of the ingredients. Next, let's work on the vegetables. I'll start with trimming and chopping some fresh asparagus. I love using asparagus in the salad because one, it is delicious, and two, it gives a great crunch to the overall salad. Plus, it's available all year round. Then we'll move on to cucumbers. I am using Persian cucumbers here, but an English cucumber would also work. Peeling here is optional, but cut them in small pieces so you will get a slice in every bite. For some color, I am using radishes. Now, if you've ever tried your hand in slicing them thinly, you know it could be a bit of work. So if you have a mandolin, this is the perfect time to use it. Before we move on to making the dressing, cut a right avocado into cubes and set it aside. I personally like adding an avocado in all of my salads, but it's an optional ingredient in this recipe, so if you don't have one, you can omit using it. Next up is the dressing. I'm using my all-purpose lemon salad dressing to keep things easy and simple here. This dressing pretty much works with any salad recipe and of course this butter lettuce salad is no exception. Simply place olive oil, freshly squeezed lemon juice, garlic, Dijon mustard, kosher salt and black pepper in a measuring cup and give it a whisk until it is emulsified and totally mixed. When it comes to cooking spring vegetables like asparagus and peas, my favorite method is blanching as it not only cooks them gently, but also helps preserve their bright green color, making the whole salad so visually impressive. And the way to properly season vegetables while you're blanching them is to add in a few tablespoons of salt in the boiling water. Most professional chefs recommend that, similar to cooking pasta, your water should taste like the ocean. Being careful not to burn yourself, Gently place asparagus in the boiling water and let it cook there for three to four minutes. Remove them with a slotted spoon or a spider strainer like I do and transfer them into an ice bath. Repeat the same process with the peas. This time, since they cook quicker, perhaps keep them in there for a few minutes shorter. When cooked, transfer them to the ice bath as well. Let them cool for a few minutes, drain and set them aside. I think every good salad should have some sort of a nut or seed in it, and for this one I'm using sliced almonds. I know it's an extra step, but if you have a few minutes, toast them in a skillet to help them release their oils and make them even more delicious. Though, as they roast, keep a close eye on them as they can burn easily. And finally, it's time to assemble the salad. Simply place all of the vegetables that we blanched and sliced earlier into the bowl with the lettuce, along with the almonds that we toasted earlier and some optional shredded Parmesan cheese. Drizzle it with the lemon dressing and give it a gentle toss, being careful not to bruise the delicate leaves of the butter lettuce. Mix until all of the vegetables are coated with the dressing. And voila, just like that, you're in for a treat. You can find the recipe for this butter lettuce salad at foolproofliving.com. I'll include the URL in the description below. If you end up making it, be sure to tag me on Instagram so that I can see your creations. If you're a fan of similar easy and healthy salads like this one, feel free to stick around and watch more of our salad videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.